ask him to speak to you. From the Holy Scripture today, about the Exodus. When the water was thus divided, the children of Israel marched into the midst of the sea on dry land with the water like a wall to the right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in their pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them right into the midst of the sea. Word of the Lord. Soon after, if you keep reading, it, it, all of this happens in the night, nighttime. God's glance on the wicked caused great fear and panic. And they died trying to run from the Lord. For they were obstinate in their sin. And they did not repent. You see, we must let go of our attachment to sin. And learn to pull away from our tendency to sin. It takes a sacrifice to make it a cross in the Exodus. And we celebrate this in the Holy Catholic Mass because the sacrifice of our Lord now becomes the ultimate sacrifice and Exodus from death into life. I say this because it was revealed to me during the Holy Daily Mass yesterday. Let's pray in the Holy Psalms today. When your wind blew, the sea covered them. Like lead, they sank in the mighty waters. When you stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Word of the Lord. As I speak, I'm overcome by a fear of God. I'm afraid of him. And this is good. Because it draws me closer to our Father. And this is good. Because I turn to him and walk to him instead of turning away and walking away. And this is good news for you because we are joining here and encouraging each other to him. Our Lord was speaking to the crowds today in the Holy Gospel when we heard. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly father is my brother and sister and mother. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. I want to share with you today's reflection on this Holy Gospel from Bishop Barron from Word on Fire Ministries. Friends, in today's Gospel, someone tells Jesus your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. Jesus stretches his hand toward the disciples and says, Here are my brothers and my mothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly father is my brother and sister and mother. Family is wonderful. There is nothing in the world wrong with fostering the flourishing of your family. But over over again, the Bible places the goods of the world into question. Even something as good as family relationships. Why? Because family isn't God. It's not. It is not that which you should serve with your whole heart. It doesn't belong in the center of your life. Is family the point around which most of your energies revolve? Is it your primary focus as you make your way through the day? Are there times when you feel your family obligations are competing with the will of God? Then remember Jesus' words, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? 
whoever does the will of my heavenly father. End quote. I was glad to hear Bishop Barron say these words today. It brought me a sigh of relief because I'm so often countered when I say what he said, that family is not the center of life. No, Jesus is to be the center of our lives. What am I showing my kid? That they are the most important part of my life? That my world revolves around them? They'll become egomaniacs and have me wrapped around their fingers. What am I showing my spouse? That they are the most important part of my life? No, it's Jesus. Only then will salvation come to this household. Only then will true love enter the scene. Because if we follow the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, we will love each other in the right order and manner. A sacrificial love, a love with grace, a love with tremendous mercy. Once we all focus on the same center, we will walk harmoniously. Let us join. Let's pray. Lord, I praise thee and I thank thee. You, my Lord Jesus, are the center of my life. I will always hold you. Always, I'll always adore you. So long as you give me the strength and grace to love you completely with all my heart, mind, and soul, every being of my soul. Oh my Jesus, help us love thee more and more. Amen. From your brother in Christ, our Lord Adrian at goingforth.com. Today's random Bible verse generator. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. Amen. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Share this. Share the good news.